Well, before I go to bed, I thought I would do a very random show and tell of my optical media library, my uh, video library, which has been a labor of love for the past few years. And for anyone interested, you thought optical media was dead. Well, you got to think again. Here's what optical media is. Think of CDs, DVDs and Blu-rays. But there are some types of optical media that are perfect for long term data storage. And these are called the M-Disc. I interviewed a guy who invented these a couple of years ago, a guy called Barry Lunt, and they are very cool. They're supposed to hold on to your data cold for up to 1000 years. Now, 1000 years is a crazy amount of time. But let's just say 100 years to be safe. So that's why optical media is still relevant for data archival, because unlike much more modern forms of storage or relatively more modern forms of storage like hard drives and SSDs, these things really don't lose data when they're cold that much. If you're buying the right archival grade media, you should not experience bit rot, which is how data on stuff like LTO and hard drives and SSDs, as soon as it's not connected to a computer, it goes bad. So this is why um, I personally, and I get the feeling b and Photo Video told me they still sell a lot of discs, burners, whatnot. So this is my archive and the reason it's called on-site or archive is because rule number one in backup and archive is you always want to have everything copied off-site. So my procedure is once a month I uh, go through my videos, podcasts, phone galleries, documents, blogs, all my creative output and I create about one or two different discs. Usually just one because they're 25 gigs and you can get these up to 125 gigabytes. Uh, sorry, 128, and I will then duplicate that. So I'll create one for this box and another for another box. And then once a year, I just need to bring the other box somewhere that isn't my home. Recent bells and whistles. Nice little program here called VVV. On Windows, there's one called Win Catalog, and this allows you to build a catalog of physical media. So I just kind of invented the system on the fly. I came up with different identif identifiers for each disk. And what you do is when you're finished burning, you click on this catalog button and it'll just copy in the file information, not the files themselves, just the info and a bit of meta metadata. And then you can search for anything in your archive. So if you're doing photography or videography and, you know, you quickly create masses and masses of data, this is a really, really kind of simple, but I think somewhat beautiful way to not have to use the cloud for everything. Uh, other bells and whistles. I, of course, had to take this way too far and I bought a label printer uh, for making these QR codes. Uh, this is the label printer software called uh, P-Touch Editor. And uh, this is me. This is right, how you make the QR codes. And I'm just writing here some basic information to help me identify what's on the video. So the this is my little system, as I mentioned. And then I print these onto the dual cases. Uh, I stored this box with the lid on it, out of sun, and in a pretty good environment without too much moisture or humidity or heat or cold or gradients and temperature. And then I just try to keep these in order according to the identifiers. And that is how I can find all my data. And it's even offsite as well. So if anything, God forbid, were to happen to this collection, it's duplicated offsite. And this should be pretty much impervious to other factors for you know a good amount of time. I'm using a Pioneer for burning. I uh, got this on B&H. It's a terrific little piece of gear. And what else can I say about it? That's pretty much it. Um, I don't worry about sort of backwards compatibility and whatnot because believe it or not, more people than you would think still use optical media for this kind of stuff for data archiving. And there is something very satisfying about as you, you know, this took about three years, as I mentioned, building up your little pile of data. <clears throat> and you can just read it off in a reader and you can access your files. So perfect if you're a videographer doing a lot of shoots and you want to put stuff in archive. And if you want to use the 128 gig disks, you wouldn't, you'd obviously fill up just a quarter. Half of these are kind of test burns I did when I was starting out. So uh, this is my approach. Hope it was interesting. Thanks for watching.